Now, in this video, um, I'm aware that I don't have a lot of time to speak on this, so I'm just going to say what I got to say about it. But in my um, my last series of videos, even though I did, I made a lot of videos about Denver while I was in Denver, while I am as I am still in Denver, um, the vast majority of those videos were made in Memphis, and they were made for one specific reason to expose Memphis. But now that I'm in another city, and even though I've had dreams about Denver, I actually had this silly dream that, uh, one time that, you know, even though I'm in Denver, that, uh, <laughs> now this is, this is strange, because I dreamt that, and I know I'm kind of running on a tangent, but I dreamt that the University of Memphis actually extended its borders out here, as if they would do some stupid shit like that. And I already know why I dreamt that, because they actually did that in Jackson. But, I, I digress. But, um, my whole thing is this. I exposed Memphis. And when it comes to corrupt cities and people who just go about, you know, basically with the same mentality. I mean, that's why I said, this is why I called this city Memphis 2.0. Like, you could almost say same shit, different hole. Even though Denver apparently is, a, you know, a bit, very big city, you know, larger in contrast to Memphis. But, I would, I would be remiss if I didn't expose Denver. Because just like the vast majority of people in this country don't know a great deal about Memphis, even though it's just now starting, Memphis is just now starting to be exposed for its bullshit. So people are finally starting to figure out a thing or two about Memphis. They know some about Memphis. But at the same time, a lot of people don't really know about Denver like that. And I've been out here for about two and a half years now. And since I've been here, I've had at least on my phone, and I noticed that this shit always happens on Saturday, for if or whatever reason, that's kind of weird to me. It'll always be some shit on the weekend, specifically Saturday, where I'll look at my phone, and my phone will just be going off as if it's trying to call the police, and there'll be some amber alert, amber alert yeah I'll actually have an amber alert about and it'll, it'll be talking about basically some child abduction so Here's what I'm going to expose to y'all about Denver County. And I'm not coy about it, I'm not shy about it any more than I was was as far as exposing Memphis, but you know, it's debauchery. Denver has its share of crime, its share of things like you know what you would find in Memphis to a lesser you know to a lesser power as far as you know murders robberies and mayhem and all that bullshit but one thing that they do take the cake on out here is pedophilia you got a lot of sick for some odd reason pedophilia is a thing out here in addition to in addition to homosexuality and lesbianism now that, that shit, that, that homosexual, gay, LGBT lifestyle, that I leave alone. That I leave alone. 
just don't come around here don't come around me with that but we know how these perversions go it's not good enough to lie with a man it's not good enough for a woman to lie with a woman Y'all got y'all y'all motherfuckers gotta bring kids into the into the mix. And out here they do that. And it must be of a high concern if you have billboards talking about child trafficking. You see that in some of these counties like um like, I live in Denver County, but, you know, I'm walking distance towards this county called Arapaho County. Because <clears throat> that's how it is. It's, it's strange because you have, like, city cops and then you have these county cops. Like, even here, you know, I live very close to Glendale. So you'll see, you know, Glendale police. And then, you know, just down here, you'll see, uh, you know, Arapaho County has their own, um, police force, as does, you know, these other counties like Adams County, um, I wouldn't be surprised if Inglewood, in fact, I think I did see an Inglewood sheriff one time because, um, uh, I accidentally found myself out there one time I got I basically got on the wrong light rail and my ass ended up in Inglewood some motherfucking where and that was a good that was a good three hour tour that I had to uh, walk home because you know this train basically dropped my dumped my ass off in some steel mill some motherfucking where in Inglewood But clearly it's a problem. I mean, it don't take more than two. It don't take two and a half years to figure out, you know, trends and dynamics. And, you know, as I'm still learning about this city and, you know, how people get down and the things that they do. And their M.O.s and whatnot. In fact, you know, um, when I... Uh, I used to ride Uber. I used to have an Uber app. I chose not to because, you know, had enough weird experiences dealing with that. But one time, uh, there was this uh, brother who was from like, I don't know if he, I don't know if he said he was originally from Cali, but I, I could tell that he was from Cali, even if he didn't say he was. I think he did say he was, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. And he said one time uh, he was living in Aurora. And it's funny that, you know, he actually lived in the apartments that I first moved into, you know, when I was dealing with those, uh, them two busters from uh, Memphis that I was fooling with until they threw me under the bus and I ain't seen their ass ever since. But he was living there, but he said when he first moved out here, he was living in Aurora, and he said that there was this Mexican, now, trip this, he said that this um, Mexican woman tried to basically prostitute her own daughter to him, tried to sell, basically tried to sell her own daughter, who was probably like, I think he said she had to have been like 11 years old, and he was like, hell no, nah, what the fuck is wrong with you? He was like, man, if you don't get the fuck out of my face with that shit. That's what I mean when I say that this is a like an offshoot version of Memphis to me. Like it's like they say they kind of got the same kind of criminal criminal mindset. But, you know, it's on a whole nother goofy ass retarded level. And I, and I mean, believe me when I tell y'all that I've been making moves since I've been out here, people. I've been making boss nigga moves, basically. Getting shit, having shit, since I've been out here. 
I ain't been getting, you know, I ain't been getting in on no broads or none, but you know, we already know the drill. We from Memphis. We we know what to deal with. We know what to do with hard to get bitches. Besides, I'm red pill, so that ain't even. But as far as money, that's the one thing. And like I said, you got to take the good from the bad. But, you know, one of those bad elements is clearly child trafficking, pedophilia, and these sick motherfuckers being up here looking at. And, you know, it really does fuck me up because I've, I've actually befriended people out here who've had, like, um, who've had families, like, wives and, you know, little, you know, small children, like, small daughters. And I'm telling you, man, you know, and I'm talking about having dinner with these folks, you know, you know, watching, you know, the kids, you know, being, you know, just kids and whatnot. And I'm telling you, man, I mean, to, for me to hear that kind of shit going on in a place like this. I mean that 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 takes me somewhere that I really don't need to be, cause I mean that's one thing that I like that Tariq says about you know for you know all this criminalization of black people. I'm so glad for all this demonization of black people that black folks go through in this on this planet with everyone across the board having nothing but pure vitriol for us one thing that I can say about black folks is we don't play about that pedophile shit at least black Americans don't because I hear they do that shit I hear about I hear about them doing that shit down in the Caribbean in fact and as well as Africa um, they don't do it down there but I hear that you know a lot of these um, Europeans will go down there and you know they'll be on some pedophile shit and the natives there won't do shit about it sweep it under the rug we don't play that shit that's why I fuck with Tariq so much because he actually you know like I said for all this vitriol that they have towards black people across the board Latinos, Asians, Middle Easterners, white folks everybody everybody we're the only race of people who don't have pedophile rings we don't we just don't do that shit I mean that's kind of a given you it's kind of a given not to fuck with kids it's kind of a given not to see a child no matter what their age is a minor no matter what their age is as as an entity for sexual pleasure that's kind of a given so you know growing up I, I mean I ain't gonna lie I kind of was on the coon train kind of growing up because I thought I always felt like I had to prove myself I had to prove to myself to defy these bullshit stereotypes that you know they would show you know they would show like New York cities like New York Chicago they should have showed Memphis they might as well but you know Memphis don't get that kind of publicity like that you know Los Angeles where you know you had these gang members doing all this nefarious bullshit and so basically providing the image that the black man is dangerous and he's a criminal and he's the lowest of the low and he's just a scumbag and I always felt the need to to um prove myself that I'm not like that. And the older that I've gotten and the more that I understand about this planet, the less inclined I feel to do that. Because now that I understand how a lot of these nations get down, I'm like, you are the lowest of the low, motherfucker. And now that 
you know, and white, I ain't gonna lie, white supremacy has definitely made a nigga like me thorough. You have to be thorough. Because when you see it for what it is, when you see, like, you ain't, you ain't going along with the typical game as far as being in the gang, being a thug, living the life of a thug. Because you know that's, that's the chess move that they want for your ass anyway. That's what's been put out there for you. And a lot of black folks are so damn stupid that they look at what they see as the cultural norm is actually, is actually, um, how do I put it? It's a social dynamic that's been put in place. I mean, set up to deceive you, set up so that you see it as a norm when really it's just it's just the way to uh, get your black ass in the grave or in, or in jail. And I always low key knew that, but like I said back then I felt like oh I had to prove something to these people that I had to prove that oh I'm not like that oh I'm not a criminal I'm not a thug I ain't never been to jail I ain't never did no drive-bys I ain't never joined the game they, and when you finally understand when you finally understand the true nature of white supremacy you like you ain't gotta prove nothing to these motherfuckers if it's anybody who's the criminal it's you if it's anybody out here who's the menace to society, it's you. You fuck kids. I mean, I almost feel like Eric Cartman when, uh, in that episode where he was talking to, to some guy who was a pedophile and he was like, dude, you have sex with children. And the guy was just saying some other shit, you know, basically justifying, justifying his, um, filth. And then he said it again. He's like, dude, I don't, I don't think it was Eric. It was, um, yeah, I take that back. It wasn't Eric. It was the, uh, the kid in the red and blue. Yeah, I, I actually forgot his name. Oh, well. But he was like, dude. He said it again. He's like, dude, you have sex with children. And, I mean, that's what you're dealing with across the fucking board. Look at the pedophile rings that you have in places like Thailand and Cambodia. And I dare even say India. I used to hold Indians to such a high esteem until... I finally figured out how they get down in India, how they get down in China. I dare say hell, how they even get down in Japan. There's pedophile rings in Japan. The legal age, I mean, I'm like, what's this shit that I hear about in Japan that the legal age of consent is 13? Oh, by the way, another thing, another fun fact that y'all don't know about Denver is that the legal age of consent out here is 17. That's why I found it so strange when I came out here when I saw teenage girls just giving me the eye. I was like, bitch, what the fuck is you doing? You want me to go to jail? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, jail bait ass bitch. And I told um, some co-workers of mine that and I was like, are these bitches trying to get me in jail? And he, and that's when he explained to me that um, the legal age of consent out here is 17. And I was like, get the fuck out. You lying. You is lying. And he's like, bro, no, I lie to you not. Because, you know, I come from a place where the legal age of consent is 18. I was under the impression that all across the board in the United States... The legal age of consent is 18. And even with that, I ain't really trying to deal with no 18-year-old. Because who to say that she got... I mean, who to say she ain't got a fake ID talking about, Oh, I'm 18. You fuck that bitch. Come to find out she's 17. And you you fuck in a place where the legal age of consent is 18. Your ass is going straight to jail. Under the jail. For some, on some statutory rape shit. So I mean, hell, that's that's probably why 
that's probably why they got the kind of fucked up dynamic that they got out here because that's basically to say that you can fuck a 17 year old and not go to jail no one i mean out here in denver county whereas elsewhere you going under the jail doing some shit like that and that ain't some shit that i would do i'm just saying that that's what they got out here and even with that that ain't enough for them they still gotta fuck the little kids i mean the fact that and i told y'all about this the f i think i did uh, i think i told y'all about that um there was some 11 year old kid that this uh stepmother of his um took out to south carolina or florida some motherfucking where and um murdered him and they had to you know they pretty much had to extradite her from south carolina to colorado which she's doing time now i mean that in and of itself ought to let you know that there's some pedophiles i mean i'm pretty sure that was nothing but some pedophile shit going on that's what i say man same shit different hall even even out here in colorful colorado where they love to show you they love to display this whole outdoor lifestyle where you got the mountains and hiking and kayaking and i mean i ain't done none of that shit since i've been out here best case scenario i have been working out and one thing i do like that they don't promote as much as hunting because once i get my hunting license you know you know a southern boy like me you already know that's that's what we do that's what that is what we do we hunt that's a given in addition to the yeah i don't mind the mountain climbing kayaking and whatever the hell else But yeah, Colorado really ain't what y'all think it is. I mean, it's it's so not what it presents itself as being. And hopefully, you know, in my new stream of videos, I will be able to expose that in however which way I can by presenting to you what I go through, what I experience on a day-in, day-out basis. And this um this problem with pedophilia and amber alerts that I that like I said this has at least been the second time that I've seen some shit like this if not the third time that I've seen some shit like this since I've been out here about some child literally being kidnapped by some sick fuck you know driving down driving down mind you cherry creek a supposedly affluent part of i mean I, why they choose this part uh, i mean i don't know because i'm not gonna say I, I just live in the part of the town that's filthy stinking rich i mean it's really comparatively to other parts of the country it's basic but you know this is supposed to be like where the rich folks live like million dollar properties and all that because real estate is higher than a motherfucker out here, but man, I I don't know, man. I I thought I just thought that I would put that out there because it's the mean. Because my whole thing is, if you're gonna criminalize me, my whole thing is, is if I'm gonna play and I've I've accepted my position as team black, I've accepted my position as being a black man in America, where that is who I am and that is how I'm perceived. Okay, fuck it. Despite the things that I've done to, like I said, shatter so-called stereo, fucked up stereotypes about black men being this, being that. So, here's the deal. If I'm going to be portrayed as this thug, this criminal, this goon who's just up to no good, I will be damned to a fiery pit in the seventh circle of hell, some motherfucking where, if you think that I'm going to uh, sit idly by and allow you to portray me and demonize me as such all the while you are engaging in some of the most nefarious of activities that you just don't see amongst black folks especially foundational black americans you got me all the way fucked up all the way fucked up so keep just showing your dirt and motherfuckers like me will expose your ass just like i exposed them goofy motherfuckers down in memphis
I ain't got no kind of shame or kind of shyness or coyness as far as exposing Denver or wherever wherever I am, whenever I am. Over there. So I happen to find myself in Vegas there for whatever reason. I find out they got pedophile ring. I'm exposed their ass too. Or they actually do bury dead bodies out there in the desert. I'm going I'm to show that shit. Or uh, call it out. On God, I'm going to do that shit. On God. On, on my grandmama's grave. God rest her soul. I'm exposing your ass. That's that's what we doing. You ain't you ain't going to continue this, this tired ass story of the black man being this sexual deviant and this criminally minded savage. Even though a vast majority of Negroes are. A good majority of Negroes are, but obviously all of us aren't like that. Uh, but hell, enough of your people are, in the regard that y'all fuck with kids. So you best believe I'ma expose that shit. Best believe, motherfucker, and best believe that I'ma call out because even some police officers are in on it. Yes, police. I mean, I've seen cases, old, old cases of Aurora police um being in on the whole thing where they up here fucking with some teenagers and what not look into that shit so we can expose all this bullshit and I'll catch y'all in the next vid I'm out